it's back on the channel. Let's go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video and Football Manager's back, oh yes it is, indeed, indeed. We've got a new setup, it should run nicely, that's the plan, we'll see how it goes. We have to start with the team we've been and that is Warsaw Football Club, we're in the saddle, that joke will be made a few times, get used to it. It's it's an interesting one, Warsaw, because you've got a, a League 2 side who, who obviously... The season before this one in game were relegated from League One, so you would think they'll be a strong team. They're not. They're really not, and it's 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 quite dis dis disconcerting. Dis disconcert. It's not a great side, and we have to try and build them. This is a real going to be a long challenge. I hope. Why Warsaw? Well, I was born in Warsaw. Am I a Warsaw fan? No, no. But I was born in Warsaw, so that's something. And if we look at the club vision, for example, you would think, oh, they've just been relegated. They need to be sort of at least looking for playoffs. No, mid-table. Mid-table. Reach the second round of the FA Cup, which ain't easy, by the way, as a lead two side. That's a bit harsh. And um, that's required as well. Oh, first season, that's harsh. Work within the wage budget. Finances aren't fantastic. Um, oh, and I should mention, there are no first summer transfer windows for anybody i disabled them i weren't having it i wanted to go with the, the realistic sort of lead to scene the realistic Warsaw squad at least for the first few months in january we'll have a look at it and see what we can improve as everybody else does but i wanted the first few months to really be realistic um and let's see how that goes so yeah i mean mid table there top half finish the season afterwards then the playoffs so three seasons to get to the playoffs not bad not bad for us. So it's a lot to work with. But they want to become self-sustainable. That's the main thing here, becoming self-sustainable. So you need to be making some money, which does bring us to the question of whether we need to be buying players to sell them on. And that's really going to be interesting. I'm hoping that is something we can look at. What about the squad then? Let's have a look at the tactics. And we're going to run with this. It says custom vertical tiki taka. I've kind of changed stuff so it's not even a vertical tiki taka. So let's have a look. It's going to be a four, sort of three, three, four, two. For, uh, sorry, four one four one, whichever one you want to sort of, sort of say, it doesn't really matter. A uh, lot of sides have set up with this. You know how it works. We're, go we're going to sit that ball winning midfielder in the middle with the Mazzala possibly, but that role could change. I'm not quite sure on these, but inverted winger on the right f apparently fits, so we'll go with it. Um, in possession, for example, we just want to be a bit more direct, really high tempo, um, and we want to counter and and and. Be a, be a sort of quick moving team that's the idea we've got some pace in the team actually and hopefully it will pay off looking at the the players themselves then and and top ability wise is this man james clark our captain by the way 29 years of age valued at three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a four-star player in this squad which isn't bad at all a right-footed player right-footed central defender and if you look i mean i've changed the colors of these by the way but if you look at the the skills available needed for what you'll be playing that role a center defender probably not as a stopper probably as a cover or on defend anyway and i mean 12 heading 11 marking, 13 tackling, aggression is high, bravery is high, decision making, determination, positioning, um, jumping reach is important as well, strength 13, he's a big powerful central defender and hopefully he will be um, a big part of this this team, to, th at least this season, we'll have a look at next season because um, would he realistically be a league one player if we manage to do that, who knows, um, but a very good captain for us very good captain he's been at the club just this season and we've made him captain straight away so that's good okay all right well he was at bristol rose before that a league one player last year 42 appearances in league one so hopefully he'll be very good for us he's number one we've got danny guthrie by the way 31 years of age this is the former newcastle man also four star ability but he's definitely on the on the below we're going to get club badges in by the way i, I haven't messed with it um red in fulham blackburn as well and mitra kuga Midrakuka in Indonesia. He scored twice in Indonesia. I mean, he's in. He's in. And do I think he's that good? No, not particularly. But he's got a lot of good technical stats. Physically, he's well. 
he's getting his wheelchair out and he's and he's walking stick but 180,000 pounds he's only here for a, a year or so and then we'll let him go after that I would think to try and get uh, younger players in hmm what I would say if we look at the dynamics and the social groups he's not very well liked so poor Danny is lonely the striking position is an interesting one. We haven't really got a clear finisher. We're going to start the season with this man, Laverick. His first name, I mean, I know he's Northern Irish, but come on. Ka Cowlan? Cowlan. Cowlan Lavery. we're going to go with. 11 finishing isn't fantastic. Let's be honest, it's not. But he's got some pace to him, 13. Natural fitness is good. He'll chase down as a pressing forward, which I want in this formation. Sort of the Jamie Vardy type role. I'm going to start the season with him to see if he can get some goals. Previously, where's he been? Where well, he's been on loan at Berry from Sheffield United and got five goals in League Two last year. So hopefully he can do better than that for us. He's never really scored more than five, which is a problem. And he's been about since 2008. He's no spring chicken, uh, good old uh, Colin Lavery. 26 years of age now needs to start being a top scorer and well we'll see if he can do that back in that note you got josh gordon who i think will start on the left wing for now he can play also as a pressing forward but nine finishing well yeah it speaks for itself also 24 years of age he's been at Walsall for two years now seven goals in league one last season so maybe he could come in 11 in the northern premier league for stafford rangers before um, so he'll start on the left left wing for now. We've also got Rory Gaffney on loan from Salford, who I think are uh, league two as well, I believe. Yeah, they are. Pretty sure. So that's an interesting one. 11 goals last year, though, in the Vanarama. And, well, he's not going to start up front, so I don't want to play a target man. We've also got Elijah Adebayo, who I think is in the thumbnail, maybe. Uh, 21 years of age. 94k, though. He's someone we can build around. He's got potential, uh, possibly, of a four-star level. Um, so he's never he's not going to be a long term sort of potential striker in League One Championship whatnot, but maybe he could do a job. Nine finishing though, mm, it ain't for me. He needs to be a pressing forward as well. Nine finishing, he not don't know. We'll give him a go. Striking striking positions aren't the strength. We start then. I mean, we'll run through pre season actually first. We lost to Ipswich, but then won four in a row. North Lee Livingston. Livingston's a good result. Notts County as well, not a bad result. Stuffed them. But then Southend and Wickham's just 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 defeated us just like slightly, just slightly. So hopefully we can bounce back. Northampton away to start us off at the uh, six ways. No, that I think that's Worcester's Rugby Club. What's the name of the ground? I can't remember. PTS Academy Stadium. Well, I mean, is it? It's. I think it's six fields. Or well, that may be the rugby club and six ways is the football. Anyway, Northampton away to start us off. We're only going to play the one game, I think, in this first episode because we've run through the team a bit as well and, and, and we'll play the one game, see how we are. Uh, we'll come back pretty quickly because that Brentford game there and crew could be a good double header for us to go for and then see where we are at Northampton. Let's go. Let's run through this team properly though first. So we are going to set up in this 4-1, 4-1, whichever you look at. And I had some decisions to make for the opening game. So uh, Roberts is in goal, that's that's for sure. But uh, right back, you had a couple of options. You had Cameron Norman, three-star, but you also had uh, Shea Facey, who's a younger player, but he's been in Portal for a little while. I'm going to give Norman the, the nod for now. Seems to be the better of the two. Still 23 as well, so he's still quite young. Um, and he's play, played for them last year in nine appearances. Wasn't really the starter, ironically. But I'm going to give him the go as, as a wing-back position. He's got all what it takes. 13 crossing. He's cool. He's very, very good for me. And a wing-back attack from the right-hand side could really suit him. Clark, as we say, at centre-back as the um, captain. But backing him up, I'm going to put Zach Jules in there. Scottish man, 22 years of age, valued at £200,000. But it's this sort of stuff here. I mean, as a ball-playing defender... I might change him from a ball playing defender. We'll give it a go for now, but 13 heading impresses me. 11 tackling, 11 marking. Composed on the ball as well could work for us. Work rate is good and he's strong. Another good centre back and at 22 years of age, he could improve big time. We brought him in from Macclesfield apparently. Well, we haven't. He was already here. So, yeah, we, he could play ball playing defender, but we may change him to that at some point. We'll have a look how it goes. Left back was an interesting one, so I'm going to start the game, at least this one, with young 20-year-old fullback Callum Cockrell Mollet. Now, only two and a half star player in terms of current ability. And actually stats aren't that impressive. He's pacey um, and he has a lot that he can improve on at 20 years of age. 
But the main reason that I'm playing him, if I'm totally honest with you, is his training in pre-season has been superb. 8.55. He's consistently been the best trainer in the squad. And I think that should be sort of praised and, and, and rewarded. I'm going to reward him. He's going to start. It may be a mistake. If he makes a mistake, well, he won't play next game. Fair, fair enough. We do have... Um, um, Callum Pring on loan from Bristol City. Cameron Pring, sorry, Callum Pring. Um, but he can come in. I don't think there's much between them, to be honest with you. Probably a better tackler, and I don't think there's much between them. In that ball winning midfield role, then we've got Gary Liddle. Now, this is a problem for us, this ball winning midfield role. 33 years of age. Is he going to be the full time ball winning midfielder? Well, we'll see. Physically, I mean, he's not actually that bad. He, he can't run. But he's strong, at least in the middle, and, uh, well, he can tackle. So, we'll see how that goes. That could change. Uh, in front of him, we've got Liam Kinsella, 23 years of age. He's someone who's been at Walsall his entire life, Walsall through and through, and actually someone we can build around. I'd love his leadership to be a lot higher than 11, because he's a captain potential to me. But hopefully, actually, he's someone who could really progress with us. Box-to-box -box midfielder he's going to be. Hopefully, get some goals for us. Alongside him, then, another one that actually I've kind of rewarded for his pre-season, and that's Alfie Bates. And it's a hell of a name, isn't it? Alfie Bates. Master Bates. Here we go. Uh, 18 years of age. I'm, I'm, I'm giving him a start at £78,000. Purely because pre-season for us, he's been superb. That's not what I wanted. Um, if we go to his form, which is here, he's been pretty good 8.3 against Notts County 7.9 in the wins he was impressive for us Livingston wasn't as good but those two wins were impressive 6.8 there I mean he's never been really that bad apart from there we played him as a ball box to box midfielder we're going to play him as a Mazala to see how he gets on in that position we do have um, people available to come in Stuart Sinclair for example an experienced head of 31 could come in and I mean that's a heck of a beard that is a heck of a beard I mean can we wow Jesus Christ, look at that beard. And then up front then, we've got Holden. Rory Holden, on loan from Bristol City, is someone I think might do very well for us this year. He's a, he's potentially a four-star player, and if he improves, that'll be fantastic. He can play this inverted winger role that a lot of people say is very good on this year's game, so we're going to give it a go. Nine crossing, though, meh. It is what it is. We're in League 2, remember this. We're in League 2. Opposite side then, we're going to play Josh Gordon as an inside forward on the left. We're going to give him a go. Uh, yeah, I think he'd prefer to be up front, but there's only one striking position, and that goes to Caelan Lavery today. So here we go, boys. Northampton away. We need to start with a win. We just need to start with a win. What's the team of the year, by the way? The team of the season preview. Let's have a look. So where are we? We're expected to finish 11th. So mid-table's probably about bang on. I'm hoping for 6th. If we can get our 6th place, it's a good season. I think I th maybe some transfers need to come in, but you know what? I think we need to be aiming for the playoffs. I ain't having it. Um, have we got anybody in here? Well, no. Jake Doyle Hayes there, by the way, on loan from Villa at Cheltenham. I would have liked him. All right, here we go. And, and well, we're going to line up in this sort of blue, bluey black thing by the looks of it. That sounds really weird. Um, but Northampton line up with that sort of five, five at the back. Um, I actually went to watch Northampton play a few months ago. Um, and I know Sam Hoskins in particular is, is a real crown in the jewel for them. Lots of physical stats, very good. Actually, technically not as good as I thought he'd be. Um, would be a good sign for us, apparently, at 68. But he's not much better than what we've got, so I'm not that upset with that. Up front, they've got Andy Williams. Um, experienced head, 13 finishing. Unlikely to get behind us, although 9 pace isn't bad, actually, for this level. So I'll take it. Chris Lyons in midfield. Um, experienced head again. Lots of good technical stats. Anyway. We haven't got anybody really like that. Mark Warburton behind, 27. You see a man to look at. Oh dear, there's lots of people here. Nicky Adams, by the way, is a winger playing at right wing back. Hmm, I wonder if we can get at him. That would be good. I'm going to start with the team talk. The players appear to be in fair spirits and look attentive. They're looking at. Yes, boss. What can we do for you, boss? Well, um, I'm going to say passionately. I'm expecting you to win today, boys. I want to win. A couple of people motivated. The captain is. Rory Holden is. That's good. Defensively, I think there's a lot more come to come to you. I completely believe you've got what it takes. I've got faith in everybody, boys. And it's worked a, kind, a tiny bit. Well, I've got a total question. About to take charge of your first match. It's a special day. I can't wait to get started. Um, he makes us stronger. Is Gary Little fit enough? I think so. I mean, that's very... Can we zoom it in a tiny bit? 
match stats off to one side. No, I think it needs to come out totally actually. Need to get them all in with match stats there. Sorry, I haven't really done a game on it yet. So that's about right. Should we go about there? All right then. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Um, we've got a, an early match highlight, which I was told out of these games. So this is don't don't score after twenty seconds into the into the whole series. Don't do it, Harriman. McCormack, Harriman again. We've we've won it. Here we go, Holden. Well, I mean, Lavery's made some of it. Colin Lavery, what a start this would be. That's, well, less said about that, the better. I've told them I want to win, but for us, if we're going to be looking at this sixth place, away games in particular, we need to make sure we're not losing. I'll take a draw um, in sort of difficult games, but we started well. Look, four shots. We're dominating them. We've dominated them, boys. Here we go then. Cockrell Mollett. We've put him in. We'll see how he does. Lavery getting everywhere. Cockrell Mollett again with the crossing. Holden attacking it. Norman now. Is he normal? Norman! Oh, he's just over that. A bit. Oh, oh, that was not normal. Lincoln Sellers took a knock. Can we not? Oh, and now Lavery's took a knock. Ref, protect the players. So is Alan McCormack. So this is a proper League 2 game, this. Lavery's actually got a real knock. Um... Potential groin injury. Let's see if I'm getting through to half time. The thing is, he's not played terribly. Ne neither, neither have we, really. We've got a corner. Here we go. In towards Lavery. Um, penalty. It's a penalty. And, well, it'll be Kalon Lavery. I didn't get there in time. He he's got to pull groin. Is that going to affect him? Um, Kalon Lavery. So, oh, well, no. No, it's not. It's not going to affect him. Northampton nil. Warsaw 1. Kalon Lavery has done it for us done it for the boys we've deserved it we, we've dominated them this first half and this well he ain't saving that is he <laughs> straight in the corner no chance Harriman's on a six he's he's struggling Lavery's gonna I think he's gonna he scored but we're gonna have to kind of bring him off can I get words out we'll do the team talk first I want to say very good boys I'm pleased with how things are going I want to say passionately as well I'm very pleased with how things are going boys fantastic oh delighted do I need to do anything else I don't think I do do I need to bring Lavery off? It's the first game of the season. Can I afford a, a, a real injury to him? If we bring him off now, will it's... I think we've got to bring him off, haven't we? Adebayo's on the bench, ready to come on. He's going to get a chance, Adebayo. You're lucky he's got injured because he scored from the spot. He's He had a good chance before that. He's, he's been involved in everything. I've liked what I've seen from Kyle and Lavery. Adebayo, here's your chance, son. Here's Alfie Bates. I want to see something from him. Bates to Gordon. Gordon, there's, man, there's a man on the left. Bates with it. Cockrell Mullet. Here's him as well. He's away from Adams. It's another penalty. It's another penalty. And now Adebayo's going to get a chance. We've had two in a game. Now, can you do what Lavery did, Adebayo? And make your... Oh, yes, he can. That is cool, calm, and collected. That is 2-0 to Warsaw. Elijah Adebayo. That's why he's on the thumbnail. You know, I, I planned it. It's actually a great penalty. A really, really good penalty. So that's good. Both strikers on the score sheet on the opening day. I'll have that. Thinking maybe Kinsella off. And we don't really have a centre. Oh, we do. We have Stuart Sinclair. Stuart Sinclair can go in there. Um, and maybe swap them two round. Is that better? Should we get Bates a bit further up? See if it makes a difference. I'm going to praise them. We're tuning up. We're dominating. We've been very good, actually. Very good. Here we go. Maybe maybe that praise has made a difference. Up towards Adebayo. Why are we going along like that? Why were we... Oh, Jules, well done. Come, Jules, Jules, Jules. I mean, Zach, Zachary. Zachary Jules has had a nightmare there. Andrew Williams scored. I'm not actually not sure what the goalkeeper's doing here either. Let's have a look. Good over the top. Jules, I mean, you've... What? Goalkeeper. It's a shambles. Zachary Jules. I know his composure's good, but that's taking the mick. Maybe come off positive and go to balanced. We need to stop here. It's 12 minutes to go. I've made two changes already, but I'm really worried about Cockerell Molly. He's young. I don't want him to get sent off. He's had a good debut. It's not been bad. Uh, we do have Pring on the bench. Is it worth it? Yeah, I'm going to leave him a little bit longer. Am I going to regret that? I've knocked the mic everywhere. Oh. <sighs> Can't let them in after that. Oh, okay. Highlight at least. Norman, Holden, Adebayo. I'd like I'd like him to be oh Adebayo. We've got away with it. Bates, well done. Great ball wide. Cockerel Mollet now. Cockerel Mollet's cross. Adebayo's header. He's hit the post. And Josh Gordon's there. Game set and match. Warsaw win away. Warsaw win away. Yes. Get in. Northampton. They're called the cobblers and well. They really cobbled this one up. Did oh I'll stop. Cockrell, Mollett's cross. Adebayo, has he hit the post? Oh, that's harsh. 
Adebayo's played well actually since coming on. He's been a threat at least. Mm, striking problems. I'll, I'll take them. And with that, five minutes to go. I'm getting him off. I'm getting him off. Cockrell Mollet, well done, son. You played very well. 6.8. Enjoy your break. Uh, Callum Pring, that's your name now because it's Cameron Pring, but we'll, we'll go with it anyway. Um, you're on, mate. And uh, let's see what you can do. Let's press play. Um, and I want to make a shout. I want to say concentrate. None of this silly, silly games, Zachary. Know what your games are. 21 shots we've had, by the way. That's very good from us. Here we go. Another another highlight. Three minutes ago, I would, I would, I would have been all right at the end of the game, to be honest. I mean, I don't want a free two. I'm disappointed we conceded one at all. Chris Lines. Oh, my God. That's a belter. I'm so glad that's not an equaliser because I would have been furious. We've struggled to play out from the back. Hall Johnson, I mentioned it beforehand, he was beast for us at right back. It's a good tackle by Sinclair, but it's into line to what? I mean, what can you do about that? He's belted it into the top corner from 30 yards. It's 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 a cracky goal, to be fair. 3-2. We'd better hold on now. It should do. Time's running out. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Northampton 2, Warsaw 3. A deserved result. I'm disappointed we've conceded two goals, actually. Looking at them stats, we've dominated possession, dominated the shots. Ten shots on target. We've scored three goals. Two of them from the penalty spot, by the way. Josh Gordon played very well from the wing. He got himself a goal, too. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. First victory. Achievement unlocked. I'll have that as well. And... That puts us in fourth, by the way, after a game. It's only a game, I know that, but fourth. I'll take that at the end of the season. I'll take play. I'll take seventh. I said sixth earlier. I forgot that it's three three promoted there. I'll take that seventh place. That's what we've got to be aiming for, I think. Where are we going to come back? Oh, 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 six days. So that's not too bad. I'm glad I brought him off now because that could have been a lot worse as well. Adebayo got on the score sheet as well and hit the post. So that's fair play. Should we do the press conference while we're here? Made my halftime talk a lot easier. Um... Uh, good to see debutant scoring. Great match. Or could I think when uh, Chris came, Chris Lines was good. Good goal. Fair play. End of that schedule. Then we're going to come back for that Brentford game. I'll play Forest Green off camera. Come back for Brentford and Crew, and hopefully we can continue this good start. Brentford's it's going to be hard, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Listen, this is going to be hopefully, hopefully two episodes a week, possibly one. Depends how busy I am. Got a lot going on over the next few months so we'll see how it goes but it's so good to have football manager back on my channel i've got my new setup thank you santa and let's get on this until next time peace